100, I'm 101 I ain't talking Dalmatians up under the sun On the road to Damascus, gun in the suit You either coming with some problems or you coming for loot I'm coming with the peace, so I'm chucking the deuce I ain't trying to run the train, I'm just in the caboose And hey, I'm trying to get What's going on guys, it is your boy Guamzi And I'm bringing you another tutorial today So I'm going to be te teaching you guys how to make a background Now, um, I know people struggle a lot with making a background in photoshop but i'm actually going to be using photoshop and after effects for this so i'm going to go ahead open up my after effects as well so let's get right into it so first thing you're going to need is this brush it is in my pack and it is in aristos pack and you're going to need a, a few other brushes from aristos personal pack v2 but you don't really need them it's just uh, another option to make it look good so this is what you guys are going to be creating today and you will need After Effects AE Pixel Sorter as well for this effect. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do it and all. And I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get right into it. So first thing we're going to want to do is you're going to want to just all and click to the right with each brush. And basically like that. And then you're going to control. Select all your layers. Control J it to duplicate it. Control T it. And then we're going to go ahead, flip horizontal and flip vertical. And well, let's redo that flip vertical. Just line it up so it looks good. Bang, bang, bang. Now we're going to just go control J, select all the layers again. Control J, control T. I'm going to go ahead, flip vertical this time. And then again, line it up with everything else. Now, as you can tell, this backing looks pretty fucking ugly right now. So we're gonna, what we're gonna do is just control. I mean, hold Shift and control all of your layers again, and then Control E to merge. And we're gonna go ahead, save for web, or you could even just save this as a quick export for a PNG. And I'll see you guys in the After Effects part. All right, so now we're here in After Effects. I have After Effects CC 2015. Um, it automatically updated for me, so I just took it and I know how to use it now. So we're going to go ahead and create a new project. And just double click right here to s import a file and we're going to look for where we put our file. So I named it Backing Tutorial or Tut. We're going to go ahead and import that and make a new composition by dragging it onto this little icon right here. We're going to look for AE Pixel Sorter in our after effects bring it over here onto our new layer and first thing we're going to do of course is just bring the threshold up you're going to want to make sure this is on full as well so you could see the full effects of it and bring this down a little bit and now we're going to go ahead duplicate ae pixel sorter again put this change this to x o r a bleh. we're going to go ahead change this com compare we're going to go ahead and change this to XOR and bring the threshold up again. And we're going to, instead of doing column, we're going to do row. Bring that over. And as you can see, it, it has a little glitch effect. And I, I like it personally. Um, and we're going to go ahead, throw another AE pixel sorter on there. Because why not? And just do a little bit more. And bam, you got a pretty dope background right there. And now the next thing we're going to do is come over here, composition, same frame as file, and just render it. And it's going to save as a Photoshop file. So we're just going to open up that Photoshop file. Wow, my background is a mess. And just bring this, drag it into our composition over here. And just control A and center it with these two buttons over here. And next thing we're going to actually do is just turn on my CC from my V1 tutorial. Well, from my V1 CC from my personal pack. Um, yeah, so you can find my personal pack in my cell phone if you want to pay for it. Or you could actually go to obey the pack and get it there because I know they exposed it a while back for their rip 3k and I mean it didn't really bother me so what we're gonna do is control J this control E to merge all the layers and then we're gonna go ahead control A 
and layer via cut. So we're going to bring it over here into Magic Bullet Looks now. And if you are making this for someone, you're going to want to put text on it and even maybe extra brushes or something like that onto it. So next thing, as you can see, I basically have my Magic Bullet Looks already set up. I usually just drag on the glow, maybe keep it at a 30% and a 3 grade level for the glow. I, You can use Swing Tilt, but um, I'm not going to use it for this. And I usually put two strip process with no green sensitivity because it all depends on the composition. If it's more towards the red, then bring it down to a 0% for the green sensitivity. And if it's more of a blue, bring it up to 100% because it will make everything blue. And it just switches around blue and red and the, all different shades of it. So I'm going to keep it like that. And we're going to add a lens distortion. I'm going to go ahead and bring this back down. And it's, Lens distortion is just personal preference in, in this situation, and I usually use my uh, chromatic aberration, the red slash cyan, down to maybe a negative 0.1 or even a negative 0.8. I think a negative 0.7 will look good here, and I even add a vintage to make it look a little darker, and I keep the strength at around 53%. And yeah, that's basically it. I'm going to go ahead and take off the star filter because I don't even know why it's there. And I even add curves, just the little basic curves. Um, this is basically your backing already. So all I'm going to do is go ahead, control J this, and then add a displacement for the filter. You never want to do it on one composition because that, that could ruin your whole thing because you can try and go ahead and edit it back. And I will leave this displacement file in the description with along with the PSD and everything else you need for this project and I'm gonna go ahead put my third displacement on and it looks like a trippy backing I know it looks like cool for an abstract type of backing or something or you could even use this as a texture as well so I hope you guys enjoyed the video it was a quick little tutorial nothing too hard to do anyone could really do it just using this tutorial so thank you guys for watching and make sure you tell me what intro to use i am using my favorite intro right now but i want to uh, know from people who are subscribed to me what they would like to see on my channel um, i just fixed up my second intro um, now back then we ain't never mentioned this word because if you got caught snitching consequences for show niggas will throw you out on the freeway with a shell in your